An ISD parents now accuse the school district of violating state law by not telling them about school nurse changes. It's a story we have been following since March when the district found out nursing services would cost more. While digging for more answers, KXAN education reporter Aaron Cargill found one family in a unique situation. Guys, to refresh your memory on the first day of school, parents told us they were shocked to find out RNs may not be visiting elementary campuses as much, but could be reached via phone and video conference. Just this week, a letter went home to parents. The first district communication, something was changing. That came after a handful of parents showed up to voice concerns to the school board Monday night. AISD says nursing services are still available at campuses, whether students will be seen by actual nurses or student health assistants supervised by nursing staff. But one family tells me their experience has not been a good one. Strips. Strips for my blood. It's a disease most people associate with adults. It's wiping off the dirty. But even children as young as four. Give it your blood so you can give it to the strip. Learn to live with type 1 diabetes. That means Esme Hennessy is insulin dependent and is getting good at checking her blood glucose levels three times a day. One, four, nine. She started pre K at Becker Elementary. Uh, a couple weeks ago. The plan was for dad to spend the first few days on campus, making sure everyone was on board with Esme's care. But what he found. We don't have any consistency right now with her care there. He says there have been nurses at times, but mostly it's been a variety of student health assistants. There's been frustrating days with, with those people because they either don't know what to do or not comfortable going through the process with us. Esme's dad has the ability to work from anywhere, so he's been posting up in the school library every single day. Want to go out on the swings? Not yet comfortable putting Esme's health in someone else's hands. <laughs> the superintendent's oh office is now involved, and he's been told a full-time yeah. student health assistant is starting soon. We'll do what it takes to keep our daughter safe and healthy. You going higher than me, Esme? Since the first day of school 10 days ago, we've been asking AISD and Seton to tell us the number of RNs in AISD schools so we can compare that to last year. We are still waiting for a response. Now, we know AISD and Seton have been very busy with the impact of Hurricane Harvey. Seton says they are working on getting us the information and possibly an interview. We will let you know when we learn more. Back to you.